Wow, hello my people. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Your wish has always been my command. Thanks always. Well, meanwhile, this is another one. All right, this is another one for a price increase. Renu Omokrik drags father Mbaka Tinumbu Obi Ezekwe Siri, Shoinka, and others. We all woke up yesterday to the news of the increase on the pump price of petrol earlier this year, March. To be precise, the federal government announced that the pump price of petrol would be determined by market forces, stating that how much Nigerians would pay would be largely determined by the international price of crude oil. As at yesterday, the petrol pump price increased to 151 Naira 56 Kobo per liter, depending on where you are buying from. Some sell at 160 to 162 Naira per liter. Renault had taken his Twitter page to drag some high-profiled personalities for Keeping quiet over this news, some of the people he mentioned were Obi Ezekwesiri, Wale Shoyinka, Reverend Father Ejikeme Mbaka, Adams or Shomole Tinumbu, etc. Okay, recall that sometimes in 2003, when the past president of Nigeria, His Excellency President Good Luck Billy Jonathan, increased fuel price. People like Shoyinka Obi, Ezekwesili Tunumbu, Adams Oshomole, and NLCTUC went on the streets to demonstrate, telling the president to leave the fuel price at 65 Naira or leave the office. Remember the fuel subsidy days? Who is talking about that now? If you see placards of those protestants, you will cry tears. People wrote awful things about President Good Luck Jonathan. So, Reno is angry with these people. He mentioned for being mom in this situation since they agitated for the old price and reverse is the case on this regime and they are not doing anything about it okay and um, a lot of people had commented on this one and in fact it's so sad that a lot of things are going wrong in this country well michael dim has said that they have become deaf and dumb go we judge them all well antonin norum said we called and begged the high-ranking harder to do something well we've been praying that the good lord will make nigeria a better place but yes things are still going wrong so what do we do well then someone is saying let's keep praying someone is saying let's take it by force even the bible said it that the kingdom of god suffered violence and the violent take it by force but to me, I think the question now is, are you sure taking it by force will be a solution to the development of Nigeria? Because a lot of things had gone wrong already. But when you tell people we should pray, people will tell you forget prayers. Prayers cannot solve it, that we should take it by force. Well, that is why I want to hear from you. Please let me have your take on this one. And remember to subscribe for more updates if you have not done so. Thanks and God bless.